there's four minutes left. Three minutes and 55 minutes to be exact. I also did it on my iPad. Can you see? Whisper, whisper, whisper. Oh, 55 seconds. So Zainab, turn off the stupid <laughs> Seconds left. Oh Girl, I'm about to oh pee my myself. Oh my oh my I'm literally responding to TikTok comments right now. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta poop so bad. It says it'll refresh on its own. I'm a little nervy. I'm a little far away. Why are we right here? He's walking a little too slow for my benefit. Where are you at? I'm walking. This is so annoying. Why is it taking it so long? I don't like this. Oh. The poop. My iPad moved. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, you come here. I come here. <laughs> Hurry up. Oh my god. How come you got in before me? I always get it in. Oh my god, what the heck? Move, you ah, bro, let me fix it here. No, I don't trust you to do this. This is not good. It's been, what, a whole minute? Somebody could have got already VIP. Why did yours move so fast and then now it's just not moving and it's making me a little nervy? Bros. Somebody already texted, did they get tickets? Oh my god, mine moved too. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. I don't know what to do. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh crap! Forget the camera! Okay, 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 okay. <coughs> wait, Zainab, let me do it. Let me do it, bro. Oh wait, you got this? No, I don't. Oh shoot. Why is it like this? I hate when it does oh, this. Oh shoot! I only put one. Why did they do it like that? Uh. Row X? No, nah, I, mean? I don't want that. I don't want that. Go back. Row X? Wait, what does that mean? They're not freaking giving us the... Oh, what the heck? Why would you click accept tickets? Oh, sorry. <clears throat> You're lying! There's no more P1? I want a car now. What's P2? Check P2. I'm gonna keep clicking. There's P2 tickets, but. It didn't even show us our seat. Section 4. So, row, row M. M. Uh, I'm not happy anymore. <laughs> I think it crashed. Do I refresh? No. No? Okay, try refreshing. Y'all, I'm so mad right now. Why do I keep doing this? This is stressing me out. I mean, hey, you could give VIP now in $30 resale ticket. I think it's our Wi-Fi. I'm not using my Wi-Fi. It's working. See, when I do this, it says no tickets available. But when I do P2, this pops up. <clears throat> not like the thing is, they're not even letting us choose. No, it's not working. I hate AXS so much. We have like three different freaking laptops open right now. One, two, two, two phones. One of them, I have seats. I just, where the heck is my camera? And we still haven't gotten tickets and it's 45 minutes. How close are those? It's been a whole hour. We still do not have tickets. And resale is literally 378. All the like light blue, not the dark blue, right? That is literally all AXS resale. That's not even like the real price. That's crazy. 52, this is for VIP. Should I get it? Should I not get it? I don't want to get it because it was 3,000. So that means I'm competing with 3,000 people to get Polaroids. And I don't think I'm that lucky. Oh my God, it I don't opened. think it's going to be 3,000. Will this work? I think it says sold out. Oh wait, can I actually buy it? <laughs> Guys, it's nine o'clock and we still don't have tickets. Be and nothing is loading. Like, I should be doing this for like Taylor Swift, not P1 Harmony. No, literally. I literally have 
No energy at all. Look at the time. It's still not working. I'm gonna go cry and go to sleep and forget about this. I'm currently editing the video, so I'm just gonna update y'all. It's December 24th, um, and I still don't have tickets. So I ended up buying VIP for $350. I know I was mad talking, like, I know I was talking crap about that, but, like, it's the only thing I can do. And I haven't bought seats yet. Let me just show you how AXS looks right now. The reason we didn't buy seats is, I don't know if you guys understand the video. If you guys saw, at the beginning when me and my sister were in, we were, like, three minutes in, or, like, three out of three. If you guys noticed, it kept saying P1 was not available, which meant that P1 sold out. Realistically, it did not sell out. What happened was AXS bought all those tickets and then is reselling them which is called AXS Premium. But basically what AXS and Ticketmaster do is they buy the tickets that are high in demand, which is obviously P1 for literally any concert, it's gonna be P1. They bought those tickets and then they resold them for $378. With taxes and fees, it came out to $450. And I was like, I'm not spending $450 with no benefits for FOMO. I'm sorry, it's a theater. I'm not spending $450. The original price was 180. Like I'm not finna pay triple the price, bro, for front row seat tickets. Thank God I didn't pay that because after like two days, it went from 300, it went from $450 with taxes and fees and they dropped it down to $250 per ticket. And people actually started buying those tickets because 250 is only like 70 more dollars in face value. So people are like, okay, I'll pay that. I didn't pay that still. The day of sale, first row was still available like even when i woke up the next day first row was still available but then when they dropped it to 250 dollars after like two or three days that's when like the first three rows sold out so it's been like a couple weeks since the concert ticket on sale i haven't bought tickets yet i'm just gonna buy resale um but like the cheap resale like i'll just get back to you since i got vip i don't really care so right now um the first four rows are sold out but there's still a bunch of seats available and the tickets are now 250 instead of 378 so it's a good thing i didn't buy the premium price because if i did buy it then the price of it would have went so much like it would have went down there's still like second row right here um if i'm desperate enough i'll buy the 250 but for now i'm just not that desperate face value of the ticket is 189 because the accessible seats are 189 versus 250 but it was 189 versus 378 so thank god i did not buy those resale tickets if you bought those resale tickets i feel so bad for you because I saw people on Twitter trying to sell it for, like, the price they paid, which is $450, and no one is paying that price. I'm sorry. But, um, if you go to, like, SeatGeek and stuff, some of the front row seats are, are on resale for, like, $1,000. Y'all got money, money. I'm gonna pay my $350 for VIP, and I'm gonna get my P2 or P3. Some tips, because I know a lot of people watch my videos for these type of stuff. If you're buying from AXS, um, or Ticketmaster, I'm sorry guys, you are gonna be a victim to premium or platinum, whatever it's called. It's like, there's no way to battle these companies unless, like, it gets fixed, like, in general. There's no way we can compete with this stuff. So, if you're lucky, you're probably one of the few who got there before they made the prices premium. But if you're not lucky, then you're just gonna have to either pay that premium price or you just wait. And my advice to everyone is like, I don't know how many people are going to watch this. The best way to save yourself and to get cheaper tickets is to not pay that price. For my city, a lot of people actually rebelled because $378 is ridiculous. Like, that's so crazy. No one was paying that price. Um, But then, like, when they dropped it to $250, a lot of people bought. Which, I, it's reasonable to me, honestly. If you're not going to buy the VIP and you really love P1 Harmony... I would spend that extra seventy dollars to secure front row seats. Like you know, that's not bad. There's a difference between seventy dollars surplus and like one hundred eighty dollars surplus. You know what I mean? When they see less people wanting those seats, they bring the price down. So they brought it down from three eighty to two fifty. I was hoping they were gonna bring it back to face value, but so far they haven't. I do think though, the day of the concert, there's gonna be still a lot of seats, and they're gonna put those down to like they're gonna make those face value. But so basically, what I'm trying to say is, the best thing you can do is just not buy the tickets and just wait until demand gets less then the ticket price will drop that's that's basically how it works if that advice is more towards smaller groups it's not towards groups like bts or 17 because when bts or 17 tickets go on sale or nct those tickets are selling out so you better fight or flight you know you have to either buy those tickets or you just cry in your bed
realizing you don't have money. I also recommend that I've noticed that my phone worked better because apparently Wi-Fi sometimes like AXS is such a bad website. So my Wi-Fi wasn't working, but on my phone when I was using Hotspot, it was working. Also, AXS crashes a lot. So if you like stay too long searching for tickets, it'll kick you out. So you have to find the tickets you want really fast. So if you have multiple phones, it's easier with different services. And that's why I say don't. I notice if I have too many windows open, it doesn't work. So I just say like use your Hotspot or use your like actual cellular data and then have everyone with different data because everyone's data is like oh and then i heard that chrome works better than safari so that's my last tip of the day good luck y'all for fighting and crying for tickets